it's Back Focus 11 coming to you from the freeways of San Diego. We're heading down to Imperial Beach, California to meet our friend JR. And we're going to uh, pair up with the Imperial Beach lifeguards. And there we're going to do a little search and rescue drill and use our Inspire One drones. We're going to see if these uh, drones are a viable platform for this lifeguard team when they go and search for people in the uh, open water. They don't have a helicopter, they usually have to call one in from another city, so maybe having a drone will be a good thing for them. All right, so we've arrived in Imperial Beach, California. Not the prettiest day out there, it's a typical marine layer Southern California day, but it should be a good day to practice this drone rescue out. Today we're going to set up a drill with uh, Justin, he's with IB Aerial, right? Media? IB Aerial Media. And um, we see the drones as a possible resource and a tool that lifeguards can use for search and rescue. And uh, today we're getting a demonstration from Justin and um, hopefully we'll see that this, uh, this new drone device with a camera can give us a better view through the water from above. So today we're going to be going offshore and um, dropping a target we call it that we're gonna be it's gonna mimic a submerged victim so we have somebody underwater trying to find quickly we're gonna be able to respond this drone that Justin has and get that hopefully over the target area and be able to see that from above where we wouldn't be able to see it from the shore and uh, hopefully you know make it find a victim a lot quicker now he says the underwater visibility can be anywhere between zero and what, 20 feet? So yeah, zero and 20 feet. Uh, looks like today we got somewhere between maybe five and 10 feet. So this should be a, a good challenge. This is a typical surf size we get today. Actually, the, if you look at the water, there's a little murkiness to it today. So we don't have the best visibility. So uh, these are pretty you know, normal conditions we get. And sometimes we get a, somebody that drowns and due to the rip tides we have today too. Spiral staircase. So JR and I did a two controller setup on his Inspire. JR flew the aircraft, I controlled the camera, and we plugged the HDMI output into the TV inside the lifeguard tower. It worked great until we got several hundred feet offshore and the video just froze. We think the premature loss of signal was because of the metal enclosure all around the lifeguard tower, killing the signal from the light bridge. Go straight down. I'm, I'm, I've lost control. I, don't, I can't move the camera. So we took our controllers outside to the balcony, and there we had much better signal coverage. So we headed out and started our search. We'd start at a higher altitude, like 80 feet or so, conduct a grid pattern, and if anything of interest caught our eye, we'd descend down to a lower level, like five or 10 feet above the water, to check it out more closely and identify what the object was. Now all this ascending and descending did wear down the battery a lot faster than just straight and level flight. We had to operate the drone in this manner because the DJI Inspire has no zoom capability or any way for us to magnify the screen, so we had to descend more often. All right, so we're on our third battery right now, and we still have yet to locate the target in the water. We're experiencing a little bit of problems with the light bridge signal breaking up, even though it's line of sight not very far away. Every so often the video will tear up. And the visibility in the ocean is really poor right now, so anything that's submerged is hard to see from there. Yeah, we're not going to see anything on the surface. What we're looking for is going to be I mean, pretty deep, so just looking at the, the, the murkiness of the, of, the, of the picture we're getting back, you can tell the visibility is minimal. Five feet at the best. I mean, to be honest, this... Uh, with better conditions, the Inspire One could be used to find an object because I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to come down on the jet ski right here. And what we're essentially looking for is an object the size of the person driving the jet ski, uh, and actually a little bit smaller. And you can see, even at this altitude, we can't really see the driver, we can only see the uh, watercraft. 
So I'll try and get a little bit closer on the uh, watercraft here. So I think like half the challenge is finding like the right search altitude mm -hmm. for the object you're searching for. Yep. I mean, something the size of a person's head, I mean, you really pretty much can't be above like 60 feet, I mean, for it yep. to really stand out on the light and, bridge and screen. From where we actually took off, it's uh, about 20 feet off the deck, so we're actually closer to 80, closer to 80 feet here. But even so, I mean, you can see here the yellow hat, that he, the yellow helmet that he's wearing. That? It'd be almost impossible to see if it sunk just a couple feet below the waters, just because of how murky the water is right now. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a diver suit up right now, and our, our personal watercraft is gonna take him out to the, you know, the location where we dropped our, our target. Um, and then we'll be able to drop down and see what the visibility really is and hopefully find our target with the diver. If not, we'll wait for it to wash in. All right, folks, that's it from Imperial Beach. This test went pretty well. We did have a little bit of roadblocks that we experienced in this test. The first one was the Inspire HD video downlink. That was a little bit fuzzy. There were some times where the video would break up, get pixelated, turn green, get black tearing lines. And that's with the signal strength pretty strong. So it's a little disheartening that the light bridge is a little unreliable like that. So we're gonna see if maybe there's a setting we can change or something else we can do to get the signal strength better. And also for this test, the sea conditions were not as favorable for trying to locate a semi-submerged object um, from the air. The uh, visibility a diver said is just, a several, just several feet. So that didn't help either. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna try this test again. We're going to meet up with the captain and uh, go out and do it on a different day with different conditions and maybe we can tweak the light bridge a little bit. And we will have that for you here on Back Focus 11. And before I go, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also Demon Seed's channel because on tax day, April 15th, I'll be giving away a $500 shopping spree with acesdeals.biz. That's the place you want to buy your next drone from. Peter there in New York gives you great customer service and he stands behind you 100% when you purchase something from him. And lastly, check out our other sponsor, Go Professional Cases. They're the official case provider for this channel, Back Focus 11 and Demon Seat. Those cases hold up no matter what. You can put your drone in there and rest assured it will get there safely. Bye. What the hell happened to the case? I don't know, but I heard a loud noise back there when you took off like a maniac. <laughs> it wasn't me! Yeah, it was! We gotta go back and get it! Uh oh. Go professional! <laughs> you can throw it on the back of your car and it'll still survive! Alright, that's it from Imperial Beach. We'll catch you on the next video here on Back Focus 11. See ya!